All right, let's look at uh, let's look at crude real quick. All right, what we do is when we first log in, the first thing we do, we look at the trend bias. The trend bias is going to let us know if we are taking net long retracements or net short retracements. All right, so the best way to do it is, is if you look on this, the trend flow is automatically built in onto our volume profile and price profile chart, the black chart. Volume profile is the solid lines. Price profile is the dotted line. So the most important one is the magenta MA. If it's angled up, then we are looking for buy retracements. If it's angled down, we look for sell retracements. If it's flat as a pancake, curve across the chart, meaning horizontal, then we'll look to sell the high, buy the low, and then we'll look for a breakout of profile, the outer edges. So we need to understand that. Now, if you are not familiar how to trade this, read our PDF. It's about 135 page PDF, tons of charts on there, examples, help you guys and gals out as far as that go if you are new. Also, I, I suggest you play that video right below the PDF at daytradingthefutures.com and that'll help you get in line with what we buy and sell. So you can tell we are, we're in a strong bias up. Now the control point is the most volume that's traded. The most volume that's traded, that's the blue line. That's the most volume that's traded since after midnight. The real basic premise on how my methodology works is this. If my trend is up, my most important ones are these solid lines. These solid lines are more volume-based profiles. It's been around since 1994. And what we do is, is that we know those solid lines, that blue line is going to take all the volume in the market, all the hedge funds, prop firms, banks, all the professional traders, retail. And it's going to give me a blue line. This blue line can trade, can be traded all by itself, a trend on a break retest all by itself if it closes a body candle, close above it, and it retests it, you got a launching point at this area. So what happened, what's the, we had a couple trades so far this morning. It closed above the control, and then we got a retest, and we got that big explosion up. Now, when I say a body candle close, it's not the wicks. The wicks don't count. The body of the candle has to close above the HVA. So another entry point would be we close outside of HVA then and start getting away with it, and then we had another retest. So the entry is on the retest after the close above HVA and the control point. So we just had a beautiful explosion to the upside here. This is the last recent trade. And then we had a retest at that level two on the control point. So those are two major inflection points so far with trend. It's a simple, it looks like a hook pattern, or it's called an ABC pattern. You go up, you retrace, you go long. You, you break out. Now see how we straddled here? That wasn't a close above high value area. Straddle, straddle. Straddle meaning the body of the candle or the wicks closed on the line, but then it closes outside of it. It gives a hook pattern. It stops to the tick on my high value area, and then we look for a law. Okay? Now, this was a stack level, correct, Tim? A stack level. I like them a little bit closer, though, because that's 82 to around 86, typically within a couple ticks. Two, three ticks is a stack. But that is a stack level. Got through all three levels, correct? So, what we're looking for then is a simple break retest continuation. The reason this works so well is it catches the rolling position traders. Now, on my white chart then, my black chart sets a trade up, and then my white chart sets a trade up. Now, I went over yesterday the best time to trade this white J signal chart, because remember, on my black chart, I got two main profiles. I got my volume profile that's been around since 1994, and I've got my price profile that's been around since 1985. These two will catch the inflection points on break retest with trend. Trend filters up, just let them break out, let them retest, look for market delta over here on the gray chart to go long. It broke out, closed above it, retested, long there off the, off the high value area because the body of the candle closed outside of it. Now, my J signal chart is the same thing. I want you to trade off of my HVA high value dynamic profile and my developing over here, my developing green profile. So this is low value and high value, just like these charts over here, but they're calculated a little bit different. The best time to look for trades on this chart is a breakout retest. You break out, here's one entry point. Breakout, retested, my line in the sand gave it actually extra confluence. You're allowed to come all the way down to the black line. 
This gave me a positive market delta right below. Another entry point is in a nice little hook pattern. You break a high value with trend, retested. It gave positive market delta here. Another entry off of this chart, breaking outside of HVA. And then we get the Fibonacci dot retracement, which is another entry off of high value area. So those are three big inflection points off the white chart. They were all directly related to breaking outside this high value because that creates strength. So what we do then is we use these two charts to find the setup or let the setup um, set itself up with market profile. And then we use market delta over here to pop us in the trade. Now in this last retracement, on the break and retest the high value area, look at the retest the high value area, look at my market delta. My market delta turned a gorgeous, right there, green. It's over 289, the number on crude oil. Anything over 200 on crude oil is a major buy imbalance. Once it closes green, you want to open the position up at the next bar. Your stop loss is two ticks below that swing low. You have a stop loss two ticks. That should put an average trade on a live bill around just around 13 ticks to 12 ticks stop loss on the trade. So the last trade, you risk 120 to 130 bucks. Your fill was 52.90, 52.90, and we're sitting up here just below below 30 right now. So we use these two charts, the black and the white, to set the trade up, and we use market delta to fire us in the trade. Now we can use the symmetry dots to scale. So if you're in this last buy setup, we've had no negative market delta to get you out. If you're in the last buy setup, you use symmetry dots to scale out. You can see my third set of symmetry dots are up here at 25. So that's going to be your next target to scale. This red symmetry dots are great places to scale. In hard trend markets, when the market's trending hard up, I like to go for the, at least the third set of symmetry dots. That's going to give you around a $700 plus push on a subsequent position per one contract, risking around 120, 130 bucks a trend. Okay? So that's how we do that. We use Market profile to set up, basic breakout retest with trend. And then we use the white chart for breakout retest, right? Breakout retest. And then we use the market delta finally on the far right to pop us in the trade. Okay?